In this video, we'll look at how to style a WS form in Bricks with Bricks Extra's WS Forms element. Let's look at the form. Editing of the form layout is all done through the form settings. We can add new tabs and add in our different field types. Typically the global styles are managed from these settings, which are applied to every form on the site. Let's look at styling our forms in bricks. We'll add a form here. Here we just have a typical two column layout. Let's add in the element, WS Forms. If we're using a template, we could add in a form ID dynamically using dynamic data. Or, we can just choose from the form from the drop-down. We first want to add a class so that we can reuse the styles on any forms on the site. The first thing we'll want to do is set the form-wide colors. This primary blue color is the default coming from the global styles. By setting a primary color here, it will apply it in all those same places across the form. We can override all of these global colors to be applied in multiple places. After we've added the colors, we can then dig deeper into the individual field settings to make more specific changes. First, let's add a background color to this tap content. And some padding. We can see there is a default margin underneath the tabs. Let's reduce that, and add some padding to the tabs. We'll make the active tab white, and any other tabs a light grey. Let's make these inputs bigger. We can add an input padding. These buttons need to be larger also. We have style controls for every button type and we can set the global button styles at the top. These are now a little too small. Here we have an information message. We can reuse the same color to match the form.
Let's view on the front. Because we've styled with a class, we can reuse that class to apply the same styles to other forms, and then only override the styles we need to. We'll add a subscribe form to this dark background. We can use that same class. But then add a second class just for making small changes. Here we want to keep the styles, but just shrink the button slightly, and change the default text color. If we view on the front, now we have our two forms sharing the same styles.